children were injured overnight in a shooting in Durham. We're talking to little kids here. This happened just after midnight, a home on McNeil Lane that is right near Austin Avenue. CBS 17, Susanna Black has been there throughout the morning. She's joining us live with a brand new update. Susanna. Well, Bill, in the last hour, we got our hands on a search warrant from Durham Police where they asked to search this apartment right behind me. This is where those two children were shot, and they say that two men overnight around 1230 got out of the backseat of an SUV, stood right here on McNeil Lane, and fired shots into that second floor. Now, just to show you how powerful those shots are, there are entrance holes on the front side here of this apartment and exit holes on the backside. I want to show you video from the scene earlier. We now know an eight-year-old girl was shot in the back and an 11-year-old boy was hit with debris. Now, police say they are expected to be okay. And I've been talking with neighbors here in Franklin Village. One woman told me she is leaving after 11 years because of the uptick she has seen in shootings. Gun violence is personal for her. She lost her 18-year-old son after he was shot. And she says after years of standing up against gun violence, she says she is exhausted. I won't recommend nobody to move in Durham or in this community right now until things change. We need to protect your children or you're going to be like me. Your child, your child going to be six foot long up there in um, Greenview Cemetery. I don't want to see that. That's why I work hard in this community to make sure nobody's child was shot in this community. Police say they ended up taking one bloody shirt from the apartment and items listed as projectiles. As far as suspects, no one is in police custody yet, but they do say again that light colored SUV was involved. For now, we're live in Durham. Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.